one country, one summer, one family. 26 letters of the alphabet, 26 cantons. This is our Swiss ABC. We visit 26 new places, covering each letter of the alphabet and every canton. Today we are in the canton Graubünden, in the east of Switzerland, where we visit Arvus, a high alpine valley region and a municipality in the Via Mala region. It includes Juve, the highest altitude year-round settlement in Europe. To reach this remote village, which literally lies at the end of the motorized road, you pass through many tunnels. Every time we are amazed by how difficult it must have been back in the days to dig through the mountains with very limited machines and resources. The A letter of our Swiss ABC. It's uh, mid May and there is still a lot of snow. Uh, ours uh, is in, lies in the canton of Graubünden in the very east. The border to Italy is very close here and it's basically the highest constantly inhabited village in Europe. We just learned. And yeah, we are a little over 2,100 meters above sea level. The temperatures dropped con um, considerably. We left um, where we are staying, that is about on 1,100 meters above sea level. We had about 13 degrees and now we are up here. It's 5 degrees. Yeah, the region is known for having a lot of marmots. You are not sure whether you would see some because they tend to sleep in winter, but we already have seen some, so they must be awake and up. Yes. So let's go and see what else we can find here. Despite being surrounded by romanche speaking areas and the Italian-speaking side valley of Valle di Ley, the people here speak German. This goes back to the Walser immigrants, which immigrated from the west back in the 13th century. The village appeared to be empty. We met some goats and geese, but just a single human. When considering that only six families live here, a total of 31 people. We were actually quite lucky to see somebody at all.
Nature is rough up here. True flies above the tree line. Winters, as proven today, are long. We witnessed some pairing toads making their way through the snow. The female, who is bigger than the male, carries the partner. We were wondering whether they are used to pairing in the snow or whether this year was exceptionally cold. Despite its remote location, Chouf can be reached by public transport all year round. A fact which still amazes us. Probably it does not come as a surprise to you by now that we had the barbecue place all to ourselves. We spent the afternoon playing and cooking lunch over an open fire before heading back home. A really good start to our Swiss ABC.